Hey guys, I'm Angela and welcome back to Hobby Night. This week I have a very special painting video for you. We're going to be painting a... Hello, Angela. Hello, Chaos Cultist. Have you forgotten what this week is? Oh, right. It's Challenge Week. Challenge Week. Yes. Right, the challenge. Okay, so what is my challenge gonna be then? Your challenge, as you are favored by the god of plague himself, Nurgle. I am indeed. I thought it might be appropriate to have you paint seven greater demons. <laughs> but that would have been really expensive and I didn't want to have us paint for that many minis. Uh, that's fair. Also, I don't know if I want to paint seven greater demons. That, that would take forever. Probably. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, so if it's not the greater demons... Well, I thought, what else is important to Nurgle? And, well, he seems to be fond of the number three. He does. He does have a thing for trilobes. Yes, yes. So I thought, after opening some plague marines last week, mm, uh -huh. what if you had to paint three plague marines? Okay, that doesn't sound too bad. I think I could paint three plague marines, right guys? Like, that should be doable. One of them. Okay. Must be painted in two hours. I think I can do this still. The second must be painted in 20 minutes. 20 minutes? 20 minutes. Okay, that's gonna be a little bit harder. I, I admit, I admit, but 20 minutes. Nurgle minute. has faith. Nurgle does have faith. He does, I have faith too. But 20 the minutes. The third mini. The third mini. Must be painted in two minutes. Two minutes? Two minutes, two minute mini. That is the challenge. Well. The rules are such. You will be provided the option of taking a break after one quarter of each time period has extent expired. Meaning on the two hour miniature, you may take a break after 30 minutes. And on the 20 minute miniature, you may take a break after five minutes. On the two minute miniature, you may take a break every 30 seconds to allow for paint to dry. Do you understand? I understand completely. Excellent. Then let us begin. Okay, so I am feeling pretty confident. I'm at my 30 minute mark with my first Marine and I first want to go ahead and actually talk a little bit of why I picked this particular model. I thought he was one of the more approachable because he has a, cute, a few very distinctive key areas that are I can do in one color, which was really important to me for this challenge. One of the things that I thought about when picking each of the three minis was how I could break them down into the easiest components to paint because contrast paint is really good for painting things quickly. It is very fluid. You can get the color down fast and it dries incredibly quickly. So that wasn't exactly the issue I was concerned with with this challenge. My real concern was how quickly I could get each of those various paints and how many colors I would actually have time to get down and how easiest to be able to get more things on there would be by blocking out how I wanted to approach them. So this guy has a couple of key like big spiky areas that are all going to be orange. This area is going to be orange as well. And I knew that his armor was all going to be green. So that's why I started with it. If I do have time for a cleanup stage, which right now, because I'm at my 30 minute mark, I'm actually feeling pretty confident because I've gotten two colors already on here. And while I have a little bit of black left to still put on this guy, it is just the bomb and I'm not super worried that that's going to take that long. So I'm actually feeling incredibly confident because I've already got my armor completely done and it's pretty clean. I was trying to be careful around areas where there would be other colors so that I wouldn't have as much overlap. But because we are going all about the speed with this, if I do have some color in there, I'm not going to be super concerned. The one nice thing about Nurgle or Death Guard in general when you're painting them is you can be a little bit messy and not have to worry too much about it. And it will still work because it's really on theme. And that's one of the things that I really like about the Plague Marines and Death Guard in general. And 
right now I'm really experiencing that. There's a couple of places that I might clean up because I'm feeling confident I have the time. But overall, I'm actually really happy with where he's at. The black went down really easily. I wasn't too worried about it being too thin or thick because I'm going to be doing a very light dry brush, hopefully with time over top of it, as is customary with my Death Guard color scheme. I like to do a skink blue over top and that should be very fast and easy, so I'm not too worried. But yeah, I'm feeling really great about where I'm at with this. So let's go ahead and get into the next part. So for this next section, I had a couple of specific goals in mind that I was trying to accomplish in order to make sure that I stay on pace and still feel confident going forward with where my time is at because that is the crux of this challenge, right? So my idea was to first finish up the black. Like I said, I also forgot last time that one of the other key places that I need to put the black is the loincloth because I also do that with the dry brush. So I made sure to hit that up as well as the grenade on his side like I said and once that was done I did decide to go ahead and risk it and do a small cleanup stage using wraith bone so that I could tidy up a few areas where I wasn't able to be quite as clean as I wanted as well as just make sure that I get a solid foundation for where the orange is going because that color really is the like stand out color for me for my death guard and I really want it to be as vibrant as possible so there were cute a few key places that I cleaned up and then once that was done um, I actually noticed a couple places that I missed some green and black so I went back and touched that up as well that was a little unfortunate took a little bit of my time away but I'm not too concerned although I will admit I am starting to slightly feel the crunch of the time pressure at this point but now that I've moved on to the orange I'm feeling great with where I'm at with it um, I still have a little bit more to do and it's a little bit of detail work so it'll be a bit slower but I'm actually really really happy with where I'm at and I am very very confident with the fact that a few of the key colors that I'm going to be using next going into this next set I'm actually going to be able to get down pretty darn quickly because they're not big areas like all of my big sections are now pretty much taken care of on the mini and honestly, that is where I wanted to be at at this one hour marker for the two hour painting. So I'm really pleased with where I am and we'll go ahead and see how it continues to go with the next 30 minute section. For this next section, I have a couple of specific areas that I want to hit up. And that is going to be finishing up the orange, obviously, because I don't have too much more to do for that. And as I go, I probably will find a couple more green and black places that I've missed. So we'll touch those up as we go. But once the orange is done, which by the way, I have been really spectacularly clean with this particular mini. And I'm kind of impressed with myself because I do feel the pressure of the time constraints. Like when I first started in the very first set, 30 minute session, I wasn't feeling too bad about it. I was like, oh man, this isn't going too bad. I've got all my green and black done already, feeling great. Didn't quite finish the orange in the second session, which was my hope, but I don't have that much left to do. And then the next sections of colors are actually going to be very, very easy and quick, I believe, because it's some of the smaller areas and it's the detail work, but it doesn't take a lot of like cleanness because I've actually been already very clean. So I should be able to do this very quickly. I need to do the yellow and the pink on the mini. And then I'm hoping if I can get it done quick enough to also get the skeleton horde down as well, because my hope is for this final section, the last 30 minutes, to really only have to do the dry brush of the blue onto the weapons, as well as putting the texture paint down and then hopefully getting a wash and being able to rim him so that he is 100% done in the two hours. And right now, I'm feeling very confident about that because I'm my progress has been going well. My expectation is to get this the uh, skeleton horde done, which I do, which is fantastic. And honestly, like I just I have just been so impressed with myself. I knew the two hour mini was obviously going to be the simplest. It would be the most likely to complete fully, but I've done this a lot faster and more cleanly than I expected myself to because honestly for the 20 minute and the two minute especially, oh dear God, the two minute, I'm expecting to be much, much sloppier than what I'm doing with these. But this guy, the one that I'm working on currently, he's probably just gonna be definitely a used mini in the army. And I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to tell the difference. That's how I'm impressed with how clean I've been so far. So 
let's see if I can continue it and move on to the last and final 30 minute session for this guy and see if we can get that texture paint on, which is honestly the main thing that I'm wanting to get down and make sure it is complete. My final process for the two hour miniature is gonna be pretty simple, honestly. I need to get the remaining colors down. I need to get the texture paint onto the base, which honestly, I'm going to start with first because I really want to have that allowed basically as much time to dry as possible. And I think that is honestly probably something maybe I should have done in an earlier step, but I th hopefully it'll work out fine and everything. So I'm gonna get the texture paint on first, basically spreading them around with my texture tool because it really does, like that thing is probably one of the most useful tools that I have. You probably could use like a popsicle stick or something for it, but the, the two different end sizes is just really, really nice. I like it a lot. Um, after that, it is going to be getting any touch up done and then our washes and making sure that I get my dry brush because I actually did almost forget as I was moving through this final step, even though literally before I was went to go paint this section, I filmed the part where I was talking about, I need to do the dry brush. Got about halfway through and was like, oh, I need to still do that. So did the dry brush and then I almost had a disaster. So while I was dry brushing, you may or not may not be able to notice it on camera or not. I actually push a little too hard because I was starting to rush and feeling a little panicked. And I actually snapped a portion of the um, the the plague's uh, blade in his hand, uh, his his knife, and whew, I caught it. Thankfully, I noticed it happened because it made a little tiny like pop crack noise that like the plastic does when it feels like it's actually gotten brittle. It's really odd. I don't know what caused this break other than the pressure. And I've dry brushed lots of these weapons at this point between the pox walkers and the uh, plague marines that I've done for the channel and everything. I have I've painted a lot of them. So I've and I've never had this happen before. So I was very nervous when it happened. I thankfully was like, okay, cool. I had already finished that part of the weapon. And so I just moved on and I will repair it afterwards. I'm just going to hope that I don't knock it off during this, which I don't, thankfully. Oh my gosh, I was so worried about that. Once the dry brushing was done though, I was feeling pretty good. All I had left was to put the shade on and make sure to get that shade onto the base. And then I actually even had time to rim the piece. So I actually got it done in under two hours, which if I'm perfectly honest, I feel like I, I kind of, I was hopeful. I was hopeful that that was going to be the case. And I'm really glad that I did. The techniques that I used to approach this were pretty much what I do normally, just kind of at a little bit of a faster speed and trying to avoid as much cleanup as possible. And honestly, it really worked out in my favor. Obviously, I wouldn't want to do that this way for like batch painting or getting a whole bunch of guys done at once. But for a single model, I was able to bust them out in two hours and I feel like I could do the same thing on like a character and not take that much longer. So I'm feeling pretty good about myself with, with all this. We will see how well you feel after the next challenge of Zinch. Oh no. Oh, hey, didn't see you guys there. Well, while you're here, don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. All right, so I have just completed the first five minutes of the 20 minute mini, and I'm honestly feeling pretty confident. I went into it with a particular goal in mind of trying to get the green and the black down at minimum. I was hoping maybe if I was lucky, I might be able to start getting the texture paint down as well, because that will need a little bit more time to dry. Didn't get to it. I'm not feeling too bad about that though, because what I've done so far, albeit a little bit messy, I'm actually feeling really confident with. So. Going forward, I'm going to try to get all of the orange done. I do think that's gonna be the next longest part for me and the most stressful part for me because there's usually a lot of orange and there's a lot of little bits and pieces of it. So we'll see how that goes. Let's move on to the next step. So the second part has, was definitely more stressful than I was, or it was definitely as stressful as I expected it to be, but I got further than I expected as well. And I'm feeling really confident about where I'm at. And also I have a plan going forward, which is kind of why I pushed myself to get into doing the bulbous pink in this stage. So I was able to accomplish the orange, 
The skeleton horde and the pink in this, I have a little bit of pink left that I know I need to do, and so I'll start with that color going into this next uh, five minute section. But I'm feeling really good with where I'm at, and I want, the reason I'm doing this is so that I can go back in with green at the end and do a little bit of cleanup and tidying to maybe refine where either I missed, as I've noticed that I've been going, or that I just want to touch up and maybe do some cleanup where I maybe spilled over with orange or other colors and it like blended too much or something like that. So that is my objective. So in this next step, it's gonna be to finish up the pink, do any, um, probably do the, the texture paint on the base. And then my last section is going to hopefully be just tidying up and doing any final little touches to try to make it look as good as possible in the 20 minute time period. So hopefully it's gonna go well. I am very hyped for it. Let's move on to the next stage. All right, so this is the second to last part of it and I am still feeling actually really good about it. I was able to get the texture paint on way faster and honestly cleaner than I expected. That was the thing that I was the most worried about. I really scooped out a whole bunch and kind of just took the approach of I'm going to remove bits rather than trying to keep adding bits and being really slow about it. So I just globbed stuff on and just went to town. Um, and that's kind of honestly how I've been treating most of my colors when I've been going through this 20 minute one, because I'm sort of doing a like rushed wet blend style of painting for him. And honestly, I'm actually really happy with how it's coming out, despite the fact that it is messy, but it's, it's working. And that is one of the things that Nurgle, you know, really benefits from. And I honestly will probably use this mini in my army just because I'm pretty proud of how it's coming out. So this final section is primarily going to be touch-ups and just trying to get a little bit more details out of things. So I want to go back in with a little bit more pink because there's a couple places that I still missed despite trying to go back this last time. I want to go back in with maybe a little bit of green and see if there's a couple places that I missed there. And then the main priority, the first thing that I'm going to be doing in this next section, this last section, is going to be starting with that dry brush on the weapons because that is a key part of the army. And I think that will really tie him in and make him really not stand out that much against the rest of the guys who are painted in a little bit longer time. All right, so this is the final section and I decided to go ahead and try to do some detail work instead of trying to do any washes. And I'm pretty happy with what I accomplished. I did forget one side completely of him um, until like the very end. And I honestly forgot that side through the majority of this painting. And I have no idea why, because every time in between I'd go, oh yeah, I need to do more work on that one shoulder that has the face on it because I want it like, that's a good thing that you can add very little detail to and kind of make pop and everything. And every single session, I just completely forgot to like focus on it. So I got a little bit of work done on it at the very end. It looks all right. I am pretty happy with it though. And I just really thought that like overall, my techniques that I was using for this worked well. I chose a large flat brush to try to get as much area while still having some control and not having the brush feel too bulky, which really worked to my advantage. And I tried to stick with larger brushes through the whole thing for the most part in general, just to, for that same reason, to try to get as much surface area on the mini covered as quickly as possible, but still having control. And it worked really well. I'm very pleased with how this challenge went. And here we are on the Chaos Cam, Camcorder. Angela, are you ready to begin the final challenge? I mean, as, as much as I'm going to ever be, I, I am, yes, ready. Very good, ready, steady, and begin. I will give you warnings at the 30 second mark. Angela has chosen, you see, to take a break at only one minute. Yes, I have decided that I think I only want the one minute break. We're going to try to just let the paint dry mostly. Oh God. All right. Let's just get as much of this green on as possible while being a little controlled, but not much. Oh, she's going quite slow, folks. Oh God. No, no, no. For 30 seconds has already elapsed. I told her to use a bigger brush. Shameful, did, did. I really did. 20 seconds. Oh, the madness. <laughs> madness. I had a plan and it's I just overestimated time. You really Ever. were going lackadaisical there. You have eight seconds. Seven, six, five, four.
four, three, two, one. Put your brush down. How did that go? Um, well, I got one color on, which honestly is what I was really expecting, to be perfectly honest. What happened to um, your plan? I was hoping to maybe get to some orange. Hasn't. Um, we're gonna, we're just gonna try to get two colors on next time. We're gonna like briefly grab this brush when we're starting again, which will probably be honestly soon because I don't know if- You can clean your brushes between turns. That's true. I can clean my brushes between turns. But yeah, I, I am feeling stressed. I was not prepared for this. I was trying to be prepared for this, but it's just two minutes is really short, you guys. It's short period of time. I did tell you to <laughs> use the bigger brush. I well I don't I don't I don't even know if it would have really been that much help, to be perfectly honest. Like I feel like I was getting just as much paint. I was just being too ginger like with my like pressing it into there. I just needed to freaking go because I was just I was wasting time. Wasted some time. But it's okay. We're gonna try to recover in the second half and hopefully it'll go better. <laughs> we are back for round two of Round three, I, I guess. But yes. Whatever. We're back. I'm prepared. I have collected my thoughts. I have let you it dry. You have one minute. I have one to minute. To finish this guy. This miniature. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be horrible, but it's gonna be amazing at the same time. I am so hyped. I am ready. Am I good to go? You may go in five, four, three, two, one. Begin. She has, but, oh god, she's I getting almost, frantic. 50 right. seconds. Okay. All right. Oops. No writing copyright, Stark. Oh, 30 crap. 30 seconds. Uh. Watch as she paints. <laughs> Watch as she paints magnificently. <laughs> For Zinch and Nurgle, you have less than 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> 20 seconds. Oh god, I for I didn't realize I had completely forgotten this arm. There we go. Do you have an orange arm now? He's got a black arm. <laughs> oh, so it, it's the rot. 10 seconds. <laughs> 9, 8, 7, ah. 6, ah. 5, mm -hmm. 4, 3, 2, 1. By chaos, put your brush down, Angela. It <laughs> is over. It is, and honestly, he looks like crap, but I love him because there's some like, there's some genuine flow, and at the end, I tried to do some neat web blending, and I was actually kind of happy where, with where it was going. I wish I had done that a little bit. Oh my god, that would have been a great thing to do. If I ever have to do a challenge like this again, I know how I'm going to do it. Well, you can talk about that in the wrap-up. Excellent, we'll meet you there. All right, they are done. I have completed my challenge, and I have a narrative for the why they look this way. We're gonna go through that right now. So this guy, my two minute boy, he is what you will see as the warp opens in front of you and the Marine starts to step out. He's sort of a green plaguey mess with a hint of rusty orange and black corruption on there. And then as he draws closer, coming for you, ready to slaughter you and introduce you to Nurgle himself, he appears more colorful, we start to see some blues of the warp, some yellows, some pinks coming in, some fleshy bits and all of that. And then finally he steps fully out of the warp and you see the two hour mini and he looks amazing. He's beautiful and I love it. And that is my narrative for these three minis. And honestly, I'm actually pretty proud of how I did on this challenge. The two minute mini, I'm gonna start talking about him because this was definitely the most terrifying of them. <laughs> and oh my God, I'm actually pretty proud of myself. I think I got, the fact that I got three colors on him in two minutes and while it is messy, the wet blending technique that I got to around the last 30 seconds of it, I actually really enjoyed. And if I ever did this sort of challenge again, whether it be a five minute or a two minute challenge or something like that, I'm definitely going to approach that challenge with the more wet blending style that I started to with this. And honestly, he's still identifiable as a plague marine, which I really enjoy. I would even argue that he is technically 
runnable as a in your in your army because he has three colors on him there is a primer some contrast paint and his base is rimmed so i'd argue there is stuff done to his base as well even if it's not super intentional it's still there so i would say he's battle ready you could run him in your army in a tournament let me know down in the comments if you think that is true or not and we can Zeke discuss it that it is excellent and then we move on to my 20 minute mini and honestly other than the fact that he's very pale I'm actually really impressed with how much detail I was actually able to pull out of this mini in such a short period of time. I know that you can definitely paint stuff this quick and everything with um, doing other things, but he has so much going on on him. I don't know. I'm really proud of how this 20 minute mini came out. I think he looks good. I'm probably actually legit going to run him in my army. The only thing that I may do additionally to him, uh, don't tell the chaos cultist, is that I might wash his base because I wasn't able to get to that during the actual challenge but we'll see how it goes and then of course we come to my two hour mini which honestly looks darn good um, for being a still somewhat rushed job i would say he is the closest that you would get like this is the fastest i would ever feel comfortable trying to paint something and actually have it for like a competition or something like that like this is like if I could go into a speed painting competition and have like an hour to two hours and I was able to use contrast paint because I don't know if I'd be able to do it quite as well with ooh ooh I could do a dry brushing thing that could have worked for the two minute mini as well actually ooh okay I'm having ideas for or the for five minute mini even I'm having ideas for other like ways to challenge myself in this sort of time challenge. So if you guys have enjoyed that, I know I definitely have, but if you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to like, subscribe, share the video, hit that bell icon for notifications so you can see more videos and let me know down in the comments what you guys thought of my, th my two hour, 20 minute and two minute challenge. Let's see what you guys think. And I really had fun with this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.